Today I'm going to work on the Broadway project. It's asking us to use properties such as display and position to improve the layout of this landing page. Number one, the header currently scrolls with the rest of the document. Set its position property so that it stays stuck to the top of the window when the document is scrolled. Let's check the hint. Use position fix to fix an element so it's positioned regardless of scrolling. For example, selector position fixed. So we're going to go to style.css, find header, and add position fixed. So right now if we scroll down, the header just stays up here, but if we save, when we scroll down, the header will always show up. Number two, the header has shrunk. Change the width of the same element so that it stretches across its entire parent element. Use width 100% for an element to take up the full width of its parent element. So we're just going to add underneath position fix width 100%. This is how it looks now. Let's save and now it's taking up the whole page. List items inside the navigation selection are currently displayed as a list. Set their display properties so that they can appear next to each other horizontally, but so that you still set their width in the next task. Hint, inline block will allow the list elements to flow horizontally on the same line and allow for you to set their width. Select the elements using the selector, nav, and list. So they want these elements to be displayed horizontally. Here are the elements about work, team, and contact. They're inside header and nav. So here in style.css, they will be in this session, nav and list. So underneath font size, we're going to add display inline block. Let's save. Number four, set the width of the same elements to 80 pixels. After changing the position of the header elements to fix, the content of the entire site shifted upwards. Set the position of main so that we can position it relatively. So main position relative. Let's save. Number six, the header has disappeared behind the main. Use Z index to make the header visible. A Z index greater than zero shall allow the header to appear in front of the main. For example, Z index 5. So let's add here Z index and save. Number seven, now the navigation bar looks good, but it's blocking the title at the top of the page. Offset main by 80 pixels from the top. Use the top offset property on position elements to move down in a layout, for example. Selector, top, 80 pixels. So I'm just going to copy and paste that on main, top, 80 pixels, and save. Now fix up the supporting elements style below the image. Add a declaration to the dot supporting dot call rule set so that these elements can appear horizontally next to each other, but have defined height and width. Display inline block will allow the dot support dot call elements to flow horizontally on the same line and allow you to set their dimensions. So I'm going to add display inline block and define height and width. Number nine, inspect the dot supporting dot call elements. They don't seem to be flowing horizontally yet because they don't have a set width. Set the width and height of the dot supporting dot call elements to 200 pixels. Let's save. And this is how they look after setting height and width. Number 10, great work. The broader design site looks much better. If you want to continue coding, challenge yourself to make the footer element also fixed to the bottom of the page regardless of scrolling. So that will be the same thing we did for header, position fixed. We're going to add that to the footer and save. And we need to set the margin width so it shows up and Z index of 1. So there it is. Now you can scroll and both the header and the footer will stay in the same spot. 